That evening, Anna left work early as she wanted to go to the house she had inherited from her grandmother. She planned to spend a weekend there, so she stocked up on food and drinking water. Driving through the countryside, she looked at herself in the mirror. I'm only 45, and I look very old, she thought. And what else could you expect? When you live with an alcoholic for 25 years, Anna and her husband had no children. He was constantly drinking and eventually died of alcohol intoxication. Suddenly, she saw a male figure on the road. She slammed on the brakes and the car stopped. It was an unshaven man in old clothes. It was obvious that he was very tired. He looked into Anna's eyes, nodded and disappeared in the nearby bushes. When the woman reached her destination, she sighed heavily. The small house was falling apart and the fence was already lying on the ground. She knew that the house needed repairing, so she also brought some building materials with her. First of all, she started with the fence, but it was difficult for her to give it any decent look and then she heard a voice. Let me help you. Don't be afraid, I'm a good carpenter. When she turned around, she saw the same man whom she had previously met on the road. Help me, please, but I can't pay you. Instead, I can feed you a delicious dinner, Anna replied. That will be okay, considering that all the last day I was eating only apples, the man said with a smile. He set to work, and within an hour, the fence was as good as new. When they sat down to dinner, the man told her his story. His name was Robert, and he was in a very difficult situation. The thing is, he had nowhere to live. However, he didn't tell Anna the reason of his problems. But the woman understood everything herself. She noticed the stamp on his shirt, which had the number of the correctional facility. This meant that Robert had escaped from prison. But since he seemed to be a good person and it was nice to talk to him, the woman decided to invite him to live in her house. Besides, there was nothing to steal. In the morning, they set to work in the yard, so a weekend flew by and now Anna had to return back to the city. Robert stayed at her house until next weekend. All week, Anna couldn't stop thinking about Robert, and finally, on Friday, she was in a hurry to the countryside. However, when she got home, she couldn't believe her eyes. Her house looked like new. Everything had been refurbished and painted. Robert was waiting for her on the threshold of the renovated house. Anna could not keep her emotions and hugged the man. That same evening, Robert told Anna his story. He had escaped from prison, although he only had to wait one more year until he would be released. The fact is that he was persuaded by his cellmates, who needed his skills. However, when they got out, they abandoned him. When Anna heard the story, she promised that she would never report it to the police. However, she did not know that her neighbor had heard this story too. That woman told everything to policemen. The man was immediately arrested and transferred to another prison. Anna started writing letters to Robert and supported him. She promised to wait for him from jail. However, six months before the end of his imprisonment, the letters stopped. Robert didn't know what to think. Once free, the man went to the address that was indicated on the letters from Anna. The door was opened by a stranger. Are you Robert? I have something for you, she said. She brought a folder and said that Anna had died. Looking at the papers, Robert began to cry. It was Anna's will, according to which her country house was inherited by Robert. Since then, the man has been living in Anna's house. He is done with a criminal past and often remembers the woman with tears in his eyes.